And we're going to look at an example now that deals with uh, the instantaneous speed of a rock. Instantaneous happens just like that. And it's called uh, the instantaneous rate of change or instantaneous speed. And we're going to use this limit that we've got. It's inside the green box, and it's the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And we're going to let h go to 0. Uh, in this green box, though, it's got t's instead of x's, but that's, that's OK. So here's the deal. <clears throat> What is the speed of the rock at one second? Here's my speed equation. And so the speed of the rock then, we need to look at f at, uh, at t. And then we need to look at f at t plus h. Those are the two things that we um, need to uh, check out. Well, in this case, <clears throat> they're telling us that t t is equal to uh, 1, okay? So f of t then is going to be 16 times 1 squared, which is 16. t plus h is going to be 16 times 1 plus h squared, which is a little bit longer, though. It's going to be 16 times, and then square out 1 plus h. 1 plus 2h plus h squared which will give us 16 plus 32h plus 16h squared. Now I'll use our limit rule. So when we look at the limit rule, we're going to take the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h. So 16 plus 32h plus h squared minus 16, which is my f of x part, all over h. And if I substitute 0 in right now, I get a 0 in the denominator. However, if you'll notice on top, my 16s uh, will cancel each other out. And there's an h in each piece that's left. So when I factor the h out, I have 32 plus h divided by h. And I'm going to look at the limit of that as h goes to 0. And so what happens is when these h's cancel out, you're going to end up with 32 uh, plus h. And then we can say, hey, h becomes 0, so then I can put a 0 here, and I'm going to end up with 32. 32 what? Uh, 32 feet per second. 